peaceful surroundings are today providing the setting for a military camp where South African girls are preparing to play a vital part in the war. There are lighter moments in their training, however, and their day begins very much like an ordinary holiday. A homemade gong broadcasts the announcement of a full breakfast program, and after their early morning exercise, the girls have real soldiers' appetites. They're learning a real soldier's job, too, for their training as artillery specialists. Their living quarters are comfortable, five-roomed bungalows, and they return here after breakfast to spruce up. And then, on parade, the day's training begins in earnest. They're inspected by the gunnery officer, accompanied by a woman officer who is herself an artillery specialist. Then, the inspection over, the details march off to their respective duties. Here's a group at the instructional range, where the target is a model battleship. This is all preparing the women specialists for their job of locating the position of ships and aircraft, coordinating these bearings, and passing their findings on to the gunners. To show them what happens when their information is received by a battery, the girls receive instruction in actual gunnery. In this way, they see what goes on at the business end, and they get a thorough understanding of the principles involved. The girls are now ready to play their part in coastal defence against an imaginary attack. Enemy air and naval forces are sighted, an alarm is given and positions taken. Operating delicate instruments, the girls locate the position of the hostile ships and planes, the direction in which they're travelling and their rate of travel. And then, acting on this information, the guns find their range. This vessel is the next target. Gunners man the batteries and the women specialists register the ship's every movement. Precision and speed are essential, and the girls must be able to carry in their minds a complete picture of what is happening in the air, on the sea, and at the guns. These women are the eyes of our coastal artillery, and on their work depends much of the accuracy of the firing. Training completed, these artillery specialists are inspected by General Tanner, who is accompanied by Mr. Starrock, Minister of Railways and Harbours, and Colonel Jopp, Director of Coastal Artillery. <laughs> Mr. Starrock turns cameraman to capture the scene for his own film library. The smartness of the parade typifies the thoroughness with which these girls tackle all their work. They're a vital part of our coastal defence.